Okay, this is the last problem in the non-calculator section, so it is the free response. That means we're going to be looking at the rubric, looking at the work, looking at the process. So part A of this, we are given a function, and it's defined a little differently than what we're accustomed to seeing. We have the function of x plus y is the same as the function of x plus the function of y plus 12 times xy. And then based on that, we want to figure out what f of 0 is. So there are several ways that you can do this. Some people try to put an x and a negative x in here because that will create a 0, but then that gets a little more complicated on this side. So rather than do that, what we're going to do is we're going to let both x and y equal 0 because when we do that, we're going to get an f of 0 on this side and f of 0 is over here. So my first step in part A is let x equal 0 and y equal 0. Then I will have f of a 0 plus a 0 equals f of a 0 plus f of a 0 plus 12 times a 0 times a 0. If I simplify that, I will get an f of a 0 equals 2 f of zeros. So if I combine my like terms, I'll get a 0 equals an f of 0. Subtract f of 0 from both sides, or we can answer the question, what number is double itself? There's only one number, and that's f of 0 equals 0. So we would get three points for this. You get one point for letting x and y both equal 0. You get another point for illustrating that you can plug that in to the function properly. And your final point is to tell me that it equals 0. So three points for part A. Part B is a little more tricky. And B is where you're going to get the majority of your points. So part B says we want to use the definition of the derivative. So that means since I want f prime of x, I'm going to backtrack to what I did in chapter 2 and rewrite that definition as the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So if I look at this <coughs> and I try to compute the limit, I would be trying to plug in h equals 0, which is not allowed because I'm trying to divide by 0. So that means I somehow have to rewrite this top and hopefully be able to work with it. So here I've got an f of an x plus h. Well, that kind of kind of looks like this f of x plus y, except instead of an y here, I've got an h. So that means up in this expression, everywhere that I've got a y, I'm going to replace it with an h. So if I do that, I will get a limit as h approaches 0 of an f of an x plus an f of an h plus a 12 times an x times an h. So I've now just replaced f of x plus h with what it equals based on the definition of the function up here. Now I also need to subtract the f of x, and that all goes over the h. Now if I look here, I can see that f of x is here, and there's the opposite of f of x here. So I can cancel those two out, and that'll leave me with the limit as h approaches 0 of an f of an h over an h plus a limit as h approaches 0 of a 12xh over h. Now the reason I broke this up is that I had a second piece of information that was given to me up here. And that says the limit as x approaches 0 of f of h over h equals 2. So I created this same expression by splitting my limits down here. Notice here's my limit as h approaches 0 of f of h over h. So this, from my given information, I know is 2. And this piece over here, because I can cancel the h's, now has an expression independent of h. So the limit of this is just going to be 12x. So I have now determined that f prime of x is 2 plus 12x. So now let's look at the point breakdown. Because it said use the definition of the derivative, 
you're going to get one point just for writing that definition of the derivative. So even if you can't do anything else, you can write that definition of the derivative. You get another point for replacing y with h and substituting it into that expression. So another point for showing me you know how to use function notation. You get a third point for simplifying the numerator and for splitting the fraction. So that means you'd get two points for getting to here, because we've deleted the f of x's and we've simplified and split. Next, we would get a point for recognizing that this piece is a 2, so there's your next point. And then your final point is to take this limit and write your final result. So we end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points for a total of 9.